Hi, hello friends. My name is M. Rajeshwari. I am studying in 10th class and I am from TTW year JC Girls Madhak. So today I am came here to explain you about the common defects we get in our life. So before going to our topic, I want to say you a short story from a family. See, on the screen we can see a family. See, in, the, in that screen we can see the grandfather, grandmother and the father, mother and the children. See, in the next image we can see the father, mother and their children. See, what we have observed in these both pictures is, in the first picture, the grandparents are wearing spectacles. So, it is a common, common thing to us. They, are, they will wear spectacles. See, in the next picture, the parents are wearing spectacles. So, it is also a common thing. The parents will wear spectacles. So, see here, in the next picture, the child is wearing spectacles in the engage only. So, what is the reason for his wearing spectacles? What is the reason? So, with this question, I went to my mother and I asked her, what is the reason, ma, why this boy is wearing spectacles? So, my mother answered me, I too don't know. Uh, so, we meet to our fa family doctor. He will explain us about your questions. So, we went to our family doctor. He explained me about those are some types of defects commonly we get, get in our life. So, today I want to explain you with you. See here, before going to our topic, I want to explain you human eye structure because we have to know which part is responsible to form the image on retina and we have to know how importance of eye. See, look at the chart. See here, here we can see the human eye structure. It is spherical in shape. See, it is spherical in shape and the front portion is sharp in shape. And it is covered with the protective transparent membrane called cornea. So, behind this cornea, we can find the liquid. Liquid is called aqueous humor. And behind this aqueous humor, we can find the crystal lenses. These crystal lenses are responsible to form the image on retina. See next, iris. Iris is a colored part in our eye. And the color of this iris is color of our eyes. And see, iris has a small hole on it called pupil. See here. Iris helps the pupil. When the light intensity is low, it expands its size and it allows more light into it. When the light intensity is high, it contracts its size and it not allows more light into it. See here, Iris helping the pupil. When the light intensity is low, it expanding its size. And when the light intensity is high, it contracting its size. So, our eyes are protected by this Iris and pupil. Next, see here, the lens in the middle is hard but they are soft towards the outer edges. And the distance between the lenses and retina is 2.5 centimeters. Next, see here ciliary muscles. Ciliary muscles means these ciliary muscles act as these ciliary muscles helps our lenses to adjust the focal length equal with the radius of curvature. See here, for example, when our eyes focused on a far object, for example, see here, see it is a matchbox. Now my eyes focused on this far object, see here. Now, my ciliary muscles are relaxed. So, it has no work to change the focal length equal with the radius of curvature. See, when our eyes are focused on a closer object, for example, see here. Now, my eyes are focusing on this closer object. So, my ciliary muscles are strained. It have to change the focal length equal with the radius of curvature. Here, we have to get one doubt. From where to where the ciliary muscles changes the focal length equal with the radius of curvature. So, see here. The ciliary muscles changes the focal length equal with the radius of curvature from 2.5 centimeters to 2.27 centimeters. And see here, on the screen we can see the human eye structure. See, just now I have explained you, it is spherical in shape and the front portion is sharp in shape and it is covered with the protective membrane. See here, it is covered with the transparent protective membrane called cornea. Behind this cornea, we can find this thick liquid called aqueous humor and behind this aqueous humor we can find these crystal lenses. These lenses are responsible to form the image on retina. Next iris. Just now I have explained you about iris. Iris is a colored part in our eye and the color of iris is the color of our eyes. Next iris has a small hole on it called pupil. So just now I have explained you iris helps the pupil. When the light intensity is low it expands its size. And when the light intensity is high, it contracts its size. Next, ciliary muscles. Just now we have discussed about ciliary muscles. These ciliary muscles helps the lenses to adjust the focal length equal with the radius of curvature. See, these are the structure of our human eye. Next, see, cornea. 
cornea means it is the protective transparent membrane of our eye lenses. And next iris, iris is a colored part in our eye and the color of iris is the color of our eye lenses. Next to pupil, pupil, iris has a small hole on it called pupil. See the ciliary muscles, with the help of these ciliary muscles only, our lenses adjust the focal length equal with the radius of curvature. Next eye lenses, see on the screen we can see the eye lenses. So these eye lenses forms the image on retina. Retina is, a, see this is the retina. Retina is a delicate membrane which contains 125 millions of receptors called rods and cones. See this green one is rod and the blue one is cones. So with the help of these rods only we can easily identify the light intensity and the, with the help of these cones only we can easily identify the colors. So see here with the help of these rods only we can easily identify the light and then with the help of cones only we can easily recognize the colors. So if the lack of cones, if um, the lack of cones we can't see the, we can see the object but we can't recognize the color. So see here, next optic nerve, see all this process transmitted to the brain with the help of 1 million optic nerves. See all this process transmitted to the brain, next brain uh, transmits it then only we can identify the shape, color, size of the object. Next see on the screen we can see working of the eye. See here we can see the object, the object is their arrow and we can see there the top of the arrow and the bottom of the arrow. See it is the eyeball and see it is the top of the arrow and the two incident rays are coming from the top of the arrow through our eye lenses they are refracted. See they are refracted and they forms the image at the bottom of the retina. Next see here at the bottom of the arrow the two incident rays are coming through it from the eye lenses they are refracted and forms the image at the top of the retina. So see, see here we can observe that here the image is inverted. Next, see in the starting I have explained you that the doctor had said me there are those types of defects. So now I want to explain with you. See here, the, there are those types of defects. The first one is myopia, hypermetropia and presbyopia. So firstly, we are going to discuss about myopia. See here, in the chart we can see the myopia. See here, this is the object and the rays coming through the object through our eye lenses forms the image before retina. So the person can't see the image clearly and see here M, M means here 4 point, 4 point means the person who is suffering from myopia at the which point he can see the image clearly that point is known as 4 point. See here the object is placed beyond 4 point the, and the rays coming from the object through our eye lenses forms the image before retina. So the person can't see the image clearly. See here now the object is placed before 4 point, see here. The rays coming from the object through our eye lenses forms the image on retina. So here, see if the object placed before retina, before 4 point, the person can't see the image clearly. If the object is placed beyond 4 point, he can't see the image clearly. So see here, on the screen we can see, see the rays coming from the object through our eye lenses, see forms the image on retina. See. It is forming the image before retina so the person can't see the image clearly. See here, now to correct this myopia defect we have to use biconcave lens. See here, it is a biconcave lens and the rays coming from the object through our eye lenses forms the image on retina by using this biconcave lens. <coughs> see here, if instead of these biconcave lens, if we use biconvex lens means biconvex lens is a converging lens, it converges the rays and forms the image before retina. See here already we got the image on before retina. So there is no use of using biconvex lens. So we have to use biconcave lens to correct this myopia defect because ma these biconcave lens are the diverging lens. It diverges the rays and forms the image on retina. See here now I want to show you a short activity. See this is the retina and this is our eyeball. See the object is placed there. And the rays coming from the object through our eye lenses forms the image on retina. So it is a healthy person's eye. See here. Next, if the person who is suffering from myopia, the focal length will increases.
see here now the now the image is blur to correct this myopia defect we have to use biconcave lens because i have just now explained biconcave lens is the diverging lens it diverges the rays and forms the image on retina so see here by using this biconcave lens see now the image is clear on retina so these biconcave lens are correction for myopia if instead of these biconcave lens if we use biconcave biconvex lens means there is no use so biconcave lens is correction for myopia next hypermetropia see on the chart we can see hypermetropia see the rays coming from the object through our eye lenses forms the image beyond retina so the person can't see the image clearly see here if h h we take as near point near point means the person who is suffering from myopia at the which point he can see the image clearly that point is known as near point if the object is placed at near point see here the rays coming through the near point through our eye lenses forms the image on retina so the person can see the image clearly because the object is placed at the near point see here if the object is placed beyond near point the rays coming through the object through our eye lenses forms the image beyond retina so the person can't see the image clearly see here on the screen we can see the hypermetropia see it is a healthy human eye the rays coming from the object through our eye lenses forms the image on retina so it is a normal eye and next the person who is suffering from hypermetropia see here the rays coming from the object if the object is placed at the before retina before near point see here the rays coming from the object through our eye lenses forms the image beyond retina so the person can't see the image clearly to correct this hypermetropia defect we have to use biconvex lens see here because why we are using here biconvex lens means just now i have explained you biconvex lens is the converging lens it converges the rays and forms the image on retina see here it converging see it is a biconcave biconvex lens and it converging the image and it forms the image on retina so instead of this biconvex lens if we use biconcave lens means there is no use because biconcave lens are diverging lens it diverges the rays and forms the image beyond retina so already here we got the image beyond retina so there is no use of using biconcave lens so here we have used a biconvex lens now i want to show you a short activity see it is a healthy human eye and if the person who is suffering from hypermetropia the focal length will increases see here the image is blur now because the rays coming from the object through our eye lenses forms the image beyond retina so the person can't see the image clearly to correct this hypermetropia defect we have to this we have to use this biconvex lens see these biconvex lens are correction for hypermetropia see here by using this biconvex lens the rays coming from the object through our eye lenses forms the image on retina because these biconvex lens are the converging lens it converges the rays and forms the image on retina if instead of these biconcave biconvex lens if we use biconcave lens means and just now i have explained it is a diverging lens it diverges the rays and forms the image beyond retina so there is no use of using this biconcave lens so this biconvex lens is a correction for hypermetropia see next presbyopia see on the see presbyopia on the screen we can see the presbyopia presbyopia means the person who is suffering from presbyopia he can uh, he will suffer, suffer with both myopia and hypermetropia if he goes to a doctor the doctor will suggest him the spectacles see these are the spectacles which contains two types of lenses see here the lower one contains convex and the upper one contains concave so with the help of these spectacles only you can see both near and far objects clearly see here when the person who is suffering from presbyopia when he want to see the far objects he will use concave lens when he want to see the nearby objects he will use convex lens with the help of these spectacles only we can he can see the image clearly next see here in the first i have said you about a family see on the screen we can see that family in that family 
the grandparents are wearing spectacles so that grandparents are suffering from presbyopia so they are wearing the bifocal lenses so with the help of that spectacles they can see all the near and far objects clearly see in the next image see in this family the parents are wearing spectacles so they are suffering from hypermetropia they are wearing biconvex lenses with the help of that biconvex lenses they can see the image clearly next we have discussed about this small boy so this boy is suffering from myopia myopia with the help of this biconcave lens he can see all the objects clearly see next see here we have to get one doubt see we are looking the object with our both eyes but we are looking the object at as one only what is the reason behind it see these are our eyeballs and this is the nerve which is passing through our eyeballs see it is attached on the retina at the one point so we are seeing the image as one and see here here we have to get again one doubt see see the object is placed here and it is our eyeball so the object is inverted here so but we can see the object as upright why it is inverted here but we can see the object as upright what is the reason so see here the object the rays are coming through the object here it is inverted and it part, passes through the optic nerve to the lateral cenculate nucleus and it inverts again see it is already inverted and it it inverts again then the image will get as upright so then only we can see the image clearly see coming to the conclusion eyes our eyes are the most important and sensitive organ in our human body and with the help of our eyes only we can see the hum, uh, this world very clearly see here see in our eyes see cornea on the screen we can see the cornea cornea is a protective and transparent membrane of our eyes and next iris iris is a colored part in our eye and the color of the iris is our uh, eye of the our color next pupil iris has a small hole on it called pupil next ciliary muscles see these ciliary muscles helps the um lenses to adjust the focal length equal with the radius of curvature so here we have get one doubt from where to where it changes the focal length so before knowing that we have to know about least distance of distinct vision least distance of distinct vision means at the which least distance the person can see the image clearly that distance is known as least distance of distinct vision see here so the with the help of these ciliary muscles only the lenses will form the image on retina so see here it is our human eye structure and i have explained you it is a cornea cornea is a protective and transparent membrane aqueous humor it is a thick liquid iris iris is a colored part in our eye and iris has a small hole on it called pupil next is ciliary muscles ciliary muscles act as it adjusts the focal length equal with the radius of curvature and it helps the lenses next is retina retina is a delicate membrane which contains 125 millions of receptors called rods and cones next is see lenses these lenses crystal lenses are responsible to form the image on retina next optic nerve with the help of this optic nerve only we can see all the near and far objects clearly see here next myopia just now i have explained you about myopia see to correct this myopia defect we have to use biconcave lens with the help of these biconcave lens only we can correct the myopia defect so we have to suggest these biconcave lens to the person who is suffering from myopia and this myopia is also known as short sightedness next hypermetropia hypermetropia means the person who is suffering from hypermetropia he can't see the four objects clearly and he can uh, easily identify the four objects and he can can't recognize the nearby objects clearly so for that we have to use biconvex lens so it is a correction for uh, hypermetropia we have to suggest this biconvex lens for the person who is suffering from hypermetropia next presbyopia see 
presbyopia means the person who is suffering from presbyopia and he suffers from both myopia and hypermetropia. So, the doctor will suggest him see these spectacles which can see the lower one contains convex and the upper one contains concave with the help of these spectacles only he can see both near and far objects clearly. When he want to see the far objects he will use uh, concave lens and when he want to see the nearby objects he will use convex lens. See it is our human eye structure and see on the screen we can see uh, it is in blue color. So, it is called irish and it is the color of our eye. So, it has a small hole on it called pupil. Yeah. See it is the working of the eye. There is object is placed there and it is the eyeball. See it is the eyeball and the object is placed here. See the two instant rays coming through the object through our eye lenses forms the image at the bottom of the retina. And see here at the bottom of the arrow two incident rays are coming through our eye lenses they are refracted and forms the image at the top of the retina. So, the image is inverted here. See in this family yeah I think you are clear now in this family the grandparents are suffering from yes presbyopia they are suffering from presbyopia. So, they are using these spectacles which contains two types of lenses the lower one is convex and the upper one is concave. Next see in this family the parents are suffering from hypermetropia. So, they will use this convex lens and the child is suffering from myopia. So, they he will use concave lens. I hope all of you enjoyed my topic. Thanks to Telangana state government and thanks to tribal welfare society. Thanks to our principal ma'am. Thank you for giving this wonderful opportunity. Thank you.